The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, everyone. would like to welcome you back to another KevCam Night class tonight. Tonight, it's just me, myself, and I going through it. Uh, Greg's at SpaceX, so uh, he uh, won't be able to join us tonight. But um, I do see a lot of the regulars in here, so I won't go through the boring introduction, but just want to thank everyone for joining the night class tonight. And uh, with that being said, we'll get the ball rolling with uh, going over HSS uh, projection radial. So I'll hop out of this real quick. And let's get over to our HSS projection that we've been kind of going through. So first thing what I want to show you is basically um, how the strategy works for radial is it uh, projects a radial pattern on the surface. Now this works best on a circular uh, shape, but does work on other shapes as well. So what I want to do is do a radial um, kind of going up and down on this part here. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways uh, and, and why uh, we have this HSS projection. So start off with a HSS and I am going to do a perpendicular to a curve. So telling it that I would like my geom or my tool lines to go perpendicular to this circle down here. So we'll grab our lead curve. And we're good. Go ahead and hit the green check mark. And we'll go up to tool. And we'll use our half in, or a quarter inch ball end mill. And from right there, I'm just going to leave it. So let's go ahead and do a save and calculate here. All right. So looks good over on this side. So everything looks good. We're getting exact uh, um, vertical lines going up, but then we start going around to the back side, and we're starting to get some gaps going on right here. And it's what's happening is it's trying to combine all the tool path, and it's coming up to this point right here, and we're getting a lot of overlap. So to kind of combat combat that, what we can do is do our radial. So let's go ahead and do another HSS operation here. And we'll come down to our projection and radial. And for our geometry, so the only thing that you'll have to pick for uh, the projection radial is the drive surface. So I'm going to grab our drive surface along with our radius right here. Now, where do we want it to follow? So basically we're telling it to go in the X direction. Um, I can do a auto detect and I'll kind of show the difference of what's happening there as well as like a start and finish. So I'm starting at zero degrees and we're going past by 1.96 uh, degrees here, going all the way around. And let's go ahead and grab a tool real quick. And I'll show you guys the different options that we have in here. All right, so now, if we do save and calculate, you'll see we get nice, perfect vertical lines going all the way around the entire part, starting at one location and ending at another location. Now, a cool feature that you guys can do with this as well is maybe I just want to cover half of that part um, with that specific tool or just any which way. So I can actually type in how many degrees I want it. So let's say I just want to do half of that circle. I can hit save and calculate here. And you can see we have an exact half moon um, just covering that face. So you can do that with going all the way around. If you just want to do a por uh, partial section right there, you can put however many degrees that you want in there. Now, let's go ahead and put that back at 360. So we're going all the way around. All right, so now what it's doing with the, the center point of auto detect. So it's finding our X, Y, Z, zero based off of our coordinate system. So if I turn this off and I'm just gonna pick a point right there. So now all the tooling lines will lead right to that point versus the center of our circle now. So now you can see 
that is our reference point. If we kind of zoom in here, we'll see that's where all the toolpath is, is coming from right there. So you guys can define wherever you would like uh, for that radial surface. So like I said, if we're maybe um, for whatever cosmetic, we, we want it right up front. Save and calculate here. And now we can see all our toolpath is coming right to the front. Now you can see in back, um, we are shortening up everything that's going on there. So we can do our extend and then trim up our lines uh, or uh, our linking that's in there as well. But for right now, we can just turn on auto detect. Save and calculate and we're using that center of that circle. So this is, a great strategy for any kind of rounded surfaces there. Um, another thing what you guys can do is if you want to do like a semi-finished finish pass, we can come over here and give it a drive surface offset. So maybe we wanted, you know, um, oops, one thou in there. It will offset that surface by one thou for you guys. And I do see a couple other people coming in a little bit later on here. So just to let you guys know, there's no Greg Payton tonight. I'm sorry, but uh, he's at uh, SpaceX right now doing some proof out there. But uh, he said he might be able to join us a little bit later on. But <laughs> this is going to be a shorter class tonight just because it's uh, pretty simple, easy. But um, we'll see if he hops in. All right. So we got our start point um, going right at the center here. Um, you know, as well as how far out we want to go and so on and so forth. Now, inside of the rest of that we've kind of skimmed over is the rest of HSS. So if we're looking for a really tight tolerant or a smooth finish on this circle right here, uh, we can tighten that down right here as well. Um, we still have our tool control as well as our links doing the lead in and lead out as well as our gouge check there. So um, like I said, it's pretty uh, basic in general with, with the radial. Uh, and anytime you're doing a circle or more of a rounded surface, um, this would be a great tool path to have. Um, and like I said, if we bounce back to do our HSS, um, can't think right now. <laughs> Um, perpendicular to a curve, we can see we can get the same results there, but we're going to have to do some patching up on our link section right there. Now, another way that we could kind of go about this is doing a HSS parallel to a curve and try doing the spiral, but I don't think we'll have as good a, of a surface finish there. So we will do parallel to a curve geometry right here and here edge curve we want to go parallel with that grab our tool and let's go ahead and save and calculate see what that looks like real quick I think I'm going to want to do spiral so now we can go to our toolpath parameters switch over from zigzag to spiral. And this will give us a nice clean cut too, but it's not going vertical up and down um, in that specific of a uh, surface application that you guys are looking for, if that's what you're looking for, then definitely use the HSS uh, projection radial for there. So kind of recap, we got our projection right here. We can choose a projection point. So if I go to my geometry, I want to use my projection point. I want it to focus more on that specific area right there. Save and calculate. And now we'll focus right on there. So just kind of compare apples to apples here. Let's do, we'll do the auto detect. And let's go ahead. I'll show you the solid verify here. 
So all of these are using a 50 thou step over. And I did a 3D I machining to get uh, a rough and a semi finish. So you can see our steps in there from our 3D I machining. Go ahead and play this through here. So that is with our 50 thou step over doing perpendicular to a curve. And you can see we still have some material there. We can patch it in on uh, just a little bit extra work inside the HSS operation. But now let me go through and suppress these guys here and we're gonna do our projection and see if we get a better surface finish. So we can already see, oh, hang on, sorry. I still have that uh, drive surface offset in there. And we'll put that at zero. Now let's go ahead and simulate that. It's all to verify. So we can already see where we're getting a much better surface finish, same step over, same um, pretty much tool path, um, except for the backside where it was all chopped up here. But you can see with the different uh, HSS strategies in here, the different surface finish that you guys can achieve by doing that. All right. so. We're, we're gonna obviously have a much smoother finish on the upper part of the this ball versus down on the sides, just because all our tool path is being joined right at that center right there. But um, like I said, it's a great tool path strategy. It is really geared uh, towards circular um, surfaces um, in, in that aspect. So if you guys have like a locating uh, hub right here or something along that lines might be an option to try out. Um, now, what I'm also going to do here is let's unsuppress our parallel to a curve, same step over and everything, and let's just see what this one will look like finish wise. So you can see much rougher uh, finish using that same step over, um, but just different pattern going in there. So um, that is pretty much everything. I, this is going to be a, I forgot to mention, this is going to be a very short night class just because there's not a whole lot in radial. But that is really where um, the HSS radial is, or user-defined radial is really geared for. Like I said, um, any round surface, uh, even to a point of, well, I was trying to think if we did a, a, a fillet on here, but what it does need is that center point. So if I go back to our operation, it is gonna need basically a focal point of where it wants to go. So, um, Keep that in mind too. So if you're trying to do a half circle, um, that's the route to go, as well as if I want to limit from zero to 90 and only do from zero to 90, uh, it's another great functionality right there. So we can break it up into quadrants if you wanted as well. So any questions from anybody? Like I said, unfortunately, we don't have Greg here to uh, interject and make sure uh, I'm covering everything, but I think I got everything covered. Um, so these uh, next two classes are gonna be a little bit shorter just because there's not a whole lot in the projection um, that's in there. But uh, hopefully you guys will find a, a useful part for it or might uh, <laughs> lighten up the light bulb a little bit and like, oh yeah, I remember him talking about that and that'd be a better one. So that option is there for you guys as well.
I don't see any questions coming in, so um, I guess we will wrap it up uh, right now. Like I said, I apologize, it's a little bit shorter of a class tonight, but uh, not a whole lot to cover. Uh, next week, we will be covering uh, the HSS projection spiral, and last, we will be covering HSS projection offset, and then we will be done with HSS, and hopefully, uh, uh, you guys will get something out of uh, all the HSS uh, night classes we've been doing for the last month and a half here, two months, whatever it's been. But um, for those of you guys that uh, would like to see uh, one of your ideas in here, definitely send those over to me via email. Um, for those of you that don't have my email, I will put it in the chat for you guys right now. Okay, so there's my email address. Uh, send those ideas over to me. Uh, once we're done with HSS, I think I said this before, but we will be um, starting mill turn, not advanced mill turn, but your basic mill turn with live tooling, sub spindle, and all that good stuff too. So look forward to that coming up. And uh, like I said, I want to apologize for a little bit shorter class tonight, but that is all I have to cover. And any questions or concerns, definitely send me an email. Uh, for those yet um, that are watching this live and then for everyone that is watching this on YouTube, send uh, my email is in the link down below. I got the question, when are you starting mill turn? So we will be starting mill turn. Let's see, you got April. I'm gonna have to pull up my calendar real quick. Give me one second. It's gonna be the, the next Tuesday after the 13th. So James, uh, for the for you that you were asking there, which is going to be, sorry, I'm trying to pull up my calendar real quick. And April 13th, it will be uh, April 20th is when we're going to start on the mill turn. So, and that is not going to be just a mill turn. Um, we've done mill turn from start to finish before, but um, I've got the request of, I didn't create the tools live. I didn't uh, probe the part live for you guys. So we will be doing that 100% from start to finish. Um, that way everybody can get real comfortable with it. And uh, by the time we're done going through the mill turn, you guys are probably sick of that too. So, but all right, I'll stop rambling on. Uh, thanks everyone for joining the night class and we will talk to you guys next week. Thanks everyone. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye.